Hello trader, this is Mario from Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by a trader. Sometimes uh, you might have got an idea of making indicator. You try to find something and you thought it is brilliant. It would be nice if you had something like that and you couldn't find it. So had I. So in today's video, I will show you how to build an indicator based on my personal idea. I found this uh, page years ago and I thought it wasn't useful, but at the end of the day, I found out that this works. And if you got an idea for your own personal indicator to do it, you can just build it for free. This is free. You'll find the link below under this video where to find how to get it. You just need to register and and go on. So let me show you how to do it from the scratch. So let's start the rock and roll. So basically building up an indicator on EA Builder is really simple. That's how it's called eabuilder.com. So how to do it? First thing you have to do, you have just to click new because you want to create new indicator and give it a name. Let's give it a name AAA Stochastic Stochastic. Here we go. We created the indicator. You can put the comments over here, but at the moment we don't need it. So we created the indicator and now it goes like that. We have to create first condition of our indicator and I've got it already prepared. So you, if you don't know how to do it, it is indicator prices. You can put candlesticks, custom code you can introduce. We start from indicator first condition we are searching for oscillator sto stochastic oscillator and i want to find a condition for buying when stochastic oscillator baseline over here we got here crosses above so we mark crosses above of the signal line which is the red one and stochastic as you know has got the blue line which is the baseline another one is the the red one is the signal line so we are interested in the situation i'll show you on on the chart when stochastic we've got here let's do it three five three three that's the stochastic this is the baseline the blue one and the red one is the signal line so we are interested in such a situation when the baseline crosses above the uh, the signal line and this is command for buying condition for buying so that's what we do we got stochastic oscillator here let me put my magic number i've got something like k period i put 44 percent d period i put 10 and at the end of the day i put the slowing period of 15 that's what I do. And here we mark baseline. It's marked already. When you, when you unfold it, you got signal baseline. We choose baseline. And this stochastic with baseline. So baseline has to cross above stochastic oscillator. We put again the same settings like before. So it's 44 on K. This is 15 on D. And this is 10, no, it's, it's opposite. It's 10 on D, sorry. It's 10 on D and 15 on K. So we got 10 on D, we got 15, and just have to make sure that we unfold and we mark signal line, which is marked already, signal line. Here we go. And we press OK. So that's the first condition. But as you know, it might happen everywhere not only i want it i want this condition shown here when the baseline crosses above the signal line i want it to happen only where is the biggest chance of getting uh, getting a good position like for example here or wherever that's the one so i put a filter on it that another filter that the stochastic must be below 20 value, 20 area. So we put this another condition, add condition, 
and we make stochastic oscillator is below and now we put value and value we put is below 20. Here we go. That's it. Done. So we got two conditions. Now what we have to do, we have to find something which will show us when this condition happens. We press this display style over here. Here we go. Indicator type. I, I want it to be an arrow and arrow up with we put four to make it bigger and the color for buying we put color green. Here we are. It's a green color. It's okay. And label is buy. In current time frame, candlestick index is zero. So this is for current candlestick. Candlestick value, I put it on close. So when the current candle closes, and it fulfills these two conditions when the baseline crosses above signal line and stochastic is below the value of 20 then appears this will appear this arrow on candlestick close zero so so on the current candlestick so this is one condition this is for buying let's do another condition for selling, we have to press new indicator buffer and we can write it all over again. But this is where magic happens. This is a magic wand over here. When we cross here, it says create the opposite of indicator buffer above. When we press it, it appear opposite condition. So it's the same, but baseline crosses below signal line which happens over here and we want it to happen in the value over 80. So we have to adjust it. So first thing crosses below here is all OK. So we've got baseline crosses below the signal line. As you see, all the values of stochastic 44, 10, 15 are left as it was. So the other one we have to adjust because now we have to make it is above not 20, but is above 80 as a value. So we adjust this stochastic must be over 80 for selling. And the last one, the price we have to modify. This is modify label is already sell arrow. As you see is done. We modify the color. Let's change it into red color, which is okay. Current price zero current candlestick applied to close. Done. So this one we have made already. Okay, let's do it. What do we do next? So every time when those two conditions will be fulfilled, the green arrow appears at the close of candlestick zero of current candlestick. When it closes, the green arrow will appear for buying and the red arrow on on top of for selling. What do we do next? We go to the tab called common. We want this indicator to show us in the chart window. We can unfold it. It can show also in a separate window, but we leave it in the chart window alerts. We don't know, want any alerts inputs. We don't put any alerts at the moment over here. Now, the most important thing. Now, what we have to do, we have to get the code of this indicator. We click source and all the code will appear here. This is the code of our indicator. Well, you don't need to worry much about it. If you know something about code, you can modify it yourself. What do we do now? We have to copy this code. So to co in order to copy it, we press copy, but it's not the end. It says press control plus C to copy. So I press control C, I copy the code. And now we have to go over here. We are at the moment at Euro USD stochastic. Let's get rid of the or let's let's leave it. What we have to do now, we have to open here meta quote language editor. You can press F4 or you can just press here. 
and it opens. It's opened right now. What we have to do? We have to press new, custom indicator, go next. We have to name this indicator. We called it AA stochastic as far as I remember. We press next, this live like that. Next, live like that. Boom, finish. We got the window with code, but we don't want this code. We just have to click here, press Control A to select all and Control V. And we paste our code. As you can see, even here we got, we got the period of stochastic, this K44, D10 uh, and delay is 15. So you can see it in the code that you are on the right path seeing your seeing your your settings over here this is through all the code you can check it now what we have to do we have to check whether this indicator is made in such a way that it will work so we have to press the button called compile we press it here we compiled the code and it says here description aa stochastic mq4 and this is description of libraries, zero errors, zero warnings. That's important. We don't want any error and any warning. But building up any indicator over here, you wouldn't get any warning, I assure you. Now what we have to do, we have to check whether our indicator works. Let's try to find it. It's called stochastic. Is it somewhere here? It's AA stochastic. Here we go. Let's try to, to go with this. This common settings, there's nothing on the colors at the moment. We make OK. In order to see arrows in a better way, we have to adjust the arrows. We do it in such a way. I will show you right now. You go here. We come back to our indicator. And over here, what it shows, the arrow, we have to add the condition. We have to, to take off the value of, let's say, 50 pips in pips. What it will do, it will show us this arrow 50 pips below candlestick zero close. Same story we have to do here, but here we have to add the value of 50 pips, pips and press OK. Now again, so now the red arrow will be 50 pips above the candlestick, which gives us a signal and the buy arrow will be 50 pips below. So now what we have to do, we have to come to again, we have to compile the code. So again, we have to press copy. Control C. We go to our meta editor. Again, Control A, Control V. Now we got, we got our new code. We compile it. Zero errors. And now our indicator is already set to the new settings. So here we go, guys. I adjusted already. The error was on my side. I put this filter, as you remember, over here with stochastic under, under 20 and over 80, and it was almost no signals at all. At the moment, the only thing we've got, we got stochastic baseline is crossing above the, the signal line and only colors adjusted. I adjusted pips over here, 70 pips, uh, below and 70 pips above above that how it looks like on four hour chart we can adjust it in this way if it's too high for example we can do it 60 or 50 let's do it for example 60 pips so we change it quickly to 60 and it will be okay i think this one and this one change to 60 and i think we should get very nice and very own personal 
indicator which will show us how to how to do it we have to copy this again go to the to the editor we have to paste it compile and it's ready it's applied straight to the chart as you can see it gives some decent signals some obviously needs to be filtered let me get rid of the stochastic and and we'll try to we'll try to to have a butchers on this how it works i think this works pretty nice stochastic let's get rid of it and one of the indicators one is enough and look that how it gives out the signals not all of them but here you see some signals are pretty valid obviously this needs to be adjusted as soon as you get the signal here on this candle still can get this train over here as you get signal here for example is losing position this one this one it shows goes up but it doesn't this one shows go down it's only just a couple of peeps and it's losing so so it has to be filtered at the moment this one shows at the very top nearly this one at the bottom guys just play with it it's worth it's worth it doesn't take much time you will find the link below watch my other videos and enjoy uh, ea builder is absolutely free as i told you at the very beginning obviously if you want to the paid version there's a paid version you can build your expert advisor if you are fan of of eas of robots you can build on a ea builder as well but this one is absolutely for free enjoy and i hope it helped you don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.